Hi, this is Tim at Vlogistics with your tip of the week for April 4, 2022. Today, I wanted to show you something in VicNet. So if you use this module, you can place links on the homepage in VicNet to training materials that your volunteers need. So volunteers can log in and click the links to be taken to the web address that has that information uh, or material that you want to share. While this does allow you to post links to training sites for volunteers or other training material, it does not make these links available to the general public. So if you have training material that you want to share with volunteers, but you don't necessarily want everyone to have access to it, this would be a good way to share that information. Another note here is there's not a way for the actual content to be hosted by Vlogistics. So these would be materials that are hosted elsewhere, either on your own website or a file share service like Dropbox or Google Drive, rather than something that you would actually upload to Vlogistics. You can set this up either with or without uh, an image here and the click here button just depends on how you want to set that up. But the basic idea here is to go into Vlogistics and then we can go into setup and expand VicNet. Now, right now we're still running the beta for the new version of VicNet. So you'll see settings here under VicNet beta and also VicNet legacy, just depending on which version of VicNet you're using. Of course, you can make the same change in both. You'll just have to do this twice. But we're going to start with beta. So if I wanted to make this change in the beta version, expand VicNet beta and go into home page. And then here I'll look for one of the available message boxes. So here we've already got one for volunteer training video. So the first thing is to make sure this checkbox is unchecked to omit the box because we don't want to omit it in this case. And then we can put in the heading and any text you want to use. Now, one way to do it is just to create a link here in the text. So if I take, please click here, I can create a link uh, using that. I can also add a click here button by putting in the URL in this box here. So if you wanna use the click here button, that's what you would wanna do. If you don't want the click here button, leave this blank and you can add a link in the text. You can also optionally add an image here to uh, just make that box stand out a little bit more. Now on our website, we also have this volunteer training videos page and I'll include a link to this in the description here. But this page has several videos that are geared toward volunteers. Right now, they just showcase the legacy version of VicNet. Uh, once the beta version gets closer to the final product, we'll update these uh, with the beta version as well. So you can take the links to these videos and add them to that homepage in VicNet to share it. And this page also includes instructions for how this is done, very similar to what we've already been talking about here, and a couple thumbnail images you can use as well. If you have any trouble getting these set up or any questions about how this works, please send an inquiry to the support team and we'll get back to you quickly. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.